everyone, Saturday morning can only mean one thing, it's another Love Rugby League short. With me, James Gordon, we've got Drew Dowsh here and we've got Dave Parkinson. We know Dave loves Super League so much that we've dragged him in <laughs> for this debate. So this week, we're going to have a quick five minute chat. Who do we think is going to win Super League in 2019? So boys, starting the clock. Curveball here, James. I don't, I don't really know, but I'm going to go... With uh, St. Helens, really. Um, I think with the improvements that they've made over the off-season, they, obviously they weren't far behind last season. They won the League Leader Shield pretty comfortably. Uh, probably should have celebrated a bit more than what they did do last year. Um, Stop having a go at them with that. But, but I think... I think uh, <laughs> Every week. <laughs> I, I think, I think the, they've improved over the off-season. They've signed Lachlan Koo, a, a solid replacement for Ben Barber. Uh, Kevin Agama, Fiji captain, filling in at centre as well. He'll, he'll be uh, a very special player in Super League. So I'll, I'll, I'll go with another prediction. I'll go St. Helens. St. Helens are very exciting. I agree. I think that they've got. It's also the younger players as well at Saints, isn't yeah. it? You know, you got, Grace is another 12 yeah. month old. And you, you've got the likes so of Jack Wells be coming through the system as well. Who, uh, who might get a couple more games under his belt next season, Matty Costello. I'd have him on dual contracts, I'd have both of them on dual contracts. Ma Matty Lees, Jack Ashwood, mm -hmm. the Rochdale uh, duo. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think they've got a solid team to... Uh, I, you know what, I'm going to chuck another curveball in. I'm going to go Leeds, because Leeds have a rubbish season followed by a good season. Mm. Don't <laughs> that seems yeah, to be yeah, the, yeah. the process. I so. think Leeds is a very interesting one, because obviously a new coach, they've recruited fairly strongly, mm. you know, they've signed some good I think, players. I think, I think the expectation at Saints and Leeds this year is very very high uh, I know Leeds didn't have a, a good season at all uh, last year but I think uh, the, with the signs they made the money they've spent and the coach coming in as well I think the, the Leeds fans will, will be wanting them to, to challenge for silver what, what about Warrington is it their year? no it's never Warrington's year no, is it? You just say, I, I think if they actually ever do end up winning it they'll be messed up for what hashtag they can use and everything, <laughs> won't they? Yeah. <laughs> and what about Wigan, of course? Wigan you know, won it last year, well, and obviously a bit of a transitional period. The, to, to be fair, James, the only reason I didn't sell Wigan was because, of, Wigan the, no. because of the change. <laughs> No, but a lot of people say I'm biased anyway, which, you know. But I think, I, I, I just didn't say because of the amount of change what's mm -hmm. gone, on, gone on at Wigan. I, I, don't, I don't see, I don't really know how it's going to affect them. It can go one or two ways, can't it? They, 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 could, they could go on and win it, they could go on and win a Challenge Cup, or they, they could um, be halted and, and be finish fifth or sixth and just have a... Have a a steady season, a from quiet a, season. From an Adrian Lamb point of view, if he wins everything next year, where does he go? Because they're bringing in Sean Edwards afterwards. I mean, he, he could he could come away from Wigan as a legend, couldn't he? Well, I suppose the thing is, if he wins everything, he, he shouldn't find it too hard to get a job somewhere else. I suppose that's where he goes. Well, he's, he's, got, he's openly said, hasn't he? He's got aspirations to, to coach in the NRL. So if he, if he wins the treble in Super League, I don't think he'll be short off as uh, so he, overseas. So obviously, you both. Are you going to Saints as well, Dave? Uh, no, I was going to go Leeds. I was oh, you're going to go Leeds. Probably. So are you thinking they'll both win League Leader Shield and win the Grand Final? Because, of course, the playoffs are slightly different this year where... No, I, th I think Saints have all learned. Uh, I, th I, don't, I don't think it does you a lot of favours, finishing first, to be honest. Um, because, obviously, they... they you get they, time off, though, don't you? They, they I think it's a, it's a lot better... No, it's a lot better... It's, it's a lot more advantageous yeah. finishing first this yeah. year than it has been. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, true, true. But uh, I think... I don't know if it'll finish the league later shield winners, James. Don't ask me that one, but I think Saints will win the Do you, the do you think the team that finishes first, the league leader shield winners, do you think they'll celebrate it more this year than teams in previous years have? Yeah, because it's... Because Saints was very subdued last yeah, year, wasn't it? And yeah. it's still an achievement. You know, we had, still we had, got 100k had, for it. Yeah, yeah, and, and so we had, pays, pays some wages. I know we had some Casper fans who were unhappy with my comments in Love Rugby League Weekly about them not winning anything when they won the league leader shield. And is that perhaps... Because the league leader shield gets talked down so much, do we need to get to a point where actually, well, ideally we rename it to something that sounds better than league leader what, shield and celebrate it. What about having a, a trophy box more than like a plate would have my Sunday dinner on? Yeah, hey, it's posh Sunday dinners in your house. Very posh. Yeah. What about two, what if, two Yorkshire instead of one? Can I just chuck something in here? Which might just, that's another curveball. Go on, Dave. What about if the team that actually wins the league gets straight through to the grand final? And then that, you've, you've, you've done well, it. Well, yeah, you? potentially. But, but then, obviously, you've got the issue there where they have so many weeks off that they're going to be a bit raw. But to be fair, I think this play, I think the top five playoff system is a lot better and it's a lot more advantageous yeah. to, the, to the team that finishes first. 30 seconds. Who do I think is going to win it? 
I, I'm I'm a bit on the fence. I'm, you can't I'm, say witness I'm, issue, I'm, John. No, I can't, but I'm a bit. I'm a, I'm sort of leaning towards Dave actually. Leeds. I I don't know. There's just something about Leeds mm. that makes me think. But I do think Warrington will be up there or, or thereabouts. Definitely. You have any dark horses? Um, Cats, Wakey. No. Casford. Casford. Potentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah Catalan. You know, Catalan. You know, they had the experience. Not even members season. of the NFL. <laughs> <there. laughs> I'm sure and you that, said that earlier, even but yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's it, that's your five minutes. So that's who we think is going to win Super League 2019. Please let us know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you want us to debate anything else in future Love Rugby League shorts, please do leave in the comments. Don't forget to like and share the video. And we'll see you next week.